What are the ingredients in the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine? You all have been asking me that question and I'm so excited to bring you answers. That's right, in this video, I'm going to actually give you the ingredient list in the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine. It's not as long as you might think. That's what we're going over today. Um, but I also wanna let you know, guys, I'm putting in the description of this video, um, not only an article with um, the uh, ingredients, so you can cross-reference that and have that handy, but I'm also putting another video uh, that I made about which allergies you can have and still get the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine. I know many of you have been wondering about your allergies, what allergies you can have, can't have, and still get the vaccine. Um, I'm gonna have that in the uh, description. For those of you watching on Facebook Watch, make sure you go to my page so you can see that description. And for those of you watching on YouTube, make sure you check out the description of the video. I'm gonna have all those links. So. Let's get right to it. These are the ingredients of the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine. All right, the first one is mRNA, which makes sense because this is an mRNA vaccine. The second thing listed are lipids. That's right, lipids is another word for sort of like a, a fatty molecule. Um, it gives a couple of names of those fatty molecules or those lipids that are in this vaccine, but that's the second ingredient listed is lipids. Um, the next thing that we see is potassium chloride. The next thing we see after that is monobasic potassium phosphate. The thing listed after that is sodium chloride. And believe it or not, we only have two more things to go in the ingredient list for the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine. The next one is dibasic sodium phosphate dihydrate. And the last thing listed is sucrose, okay? So I know that that's a, a big mouthful of things, but actually the list may not be, as I mentioned, as long as you might have thought. We've got mRNA, we've got lipids, we've got potassium chloride, monobasic potassium phosphate, sodium chloride, dibasic sodium phosphate dihydrate, and sucrose, say that 10 times fast. Um, but those are the ingredients that are in the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine. This is really, really important for you to keep in mind because remember, um, I, again, I did videos on which allergies you can have and still get the vaccine or what risks and precautions you may need to take. So check out the description of this video on Facebook, on YouTube, make sure you check it out uh, in the description uh, section as well. But the people who should not get the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine um, are people who have had a severe allergic reaction uh, after a previous dose of this vaccine. So let's say you get the first dose and you have a severe allergic reaction, you should not get the second dose. Or people who have a severe allergic reaction or have a history of severe allergic reactions to any ingredient um, in this vaccine. Um, those I just mentioned. This ingredient list is from the FDA's page, fda.gov, okay? I will have that um, in the articles that I put in the comments section. So make sure, again, you check out these links so you can have them literally in your hand, on your phone. You can cross-reference them, ask your doctor about them if you have questions. But guys, this is the ingredient list. Not so bad, huh? In terms of the length, not so long. Guys, I hope this is helpful. Please share this video uh, far and wide. I wanna make sure everyone gets the information. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have not subscribed to my channel, make sure you keep it locked here. Go ahead and subscribe, click the little bell to get updates. I am doing multiple videos daily on COVID and so many other topics. I don't want you to miss any. And please share this video with others, guys. I am Dr. Jen Caudill. I will see you soon.